Hello, everybody. I want you to ask yourself today, what have you started and have not finished? For me, a special project that I started and didn't finish was developing photo books. Basically, photo books for all of the beautiful pictures of my family and friends that we've taken over the years. I used to be really good at organizing my pictures and, you know, the traditional photo albums. They have the little stickies that lose their elasticity over time. So I'm going to basically take all of my old photos as well as newer ones and I'm going to place them into photo books, basically creating books. So that is an important project for me because it's a way for me to cherish the memories of my family and friends and life and then pass on, of course, and share with my children. Uh, some people have other goals, whether they're work goals or personal goals, conversations that you said you were going to have with people that you have not, um, challenges that you said you're gonna take, um, perhaps you want to pick up a language, whatever it is that has been placed on your heart to do that you have placed down, but you know it's an important priority, I challenge you today to pick it back up. God said in Philippians uh, chapter one, verses six, he said that he would not place in you anything and not finish it. So if he gave you the vision, you definitely have the ability to finish it. If it's something that you thought was important and that now is no longer important, then if perhaps it's not. But if it's something that keeps coming back in your head or your heart and, and you keep saying, well, someday I'm going to finish it and you know it's important, I challenge you today to, to do it, get it done. You'll feel phenomenal once you do finish it. And not only that, you'll make sure that you actually get to finish it because you know how priorities always change. So if it's important, do it today while you have the opportunity to do it. Have a blessed one.